bonus day at number 11. And um, today I'm going to be trying the Sabbath mini oven or portable oven and I'm going to put a few things in a pan. We're going to cook it up and see just how well this thing works. I am really excited. It was my intent to bring this review to you guys yesterday since um, a few of you had asked about it, how well it worked. I do not know. We're going to find out together. I have not done anything but open up the package on camera with you guys and uh, that's it. So I'm going to try it out for the first time today with you all so you can see if it works well too. I'm very, very curious. But here it is right here. This is the outside of the oven bag. Oven bag. And again, let's see how I can pull it up. Pull it up a little bit. Here we go. Oh, well, I don't think I did anything. <laughs> okay. Maybe it'll get its shape once I start putting things in it. <clears throat> but anyway, it's the Sabbath Heat. Okay, and you guys, if you're interested, I'll have a link in the description box where you can uh, find out more information about this mini oven or portable oven. Uh, if this thing works, then it is definitely a game changer for a lot of people. Um, I immediately think of doctors and nurses who are in uh, working in the hospitals and are have, that have those long 12 hour shifts. Um, this would be something great for them, a great way for them to get a hot meal while they're at work. Um, our firefighters, things like that. People who have um, those long shifts, long days, and they still want a nice warm meal. Well, we're going to give this a try. I'm going to let you guys know if it works, okay? And if it does, then I'm going to definitely give it a thumbs up. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, everyone, so I did do an unboxing of this. I think it was in Vlogmas Day 9 video. I'm going to leave that link in the description box below if you want to check out the unboxing of this mini oven. But um, let me show you just a few of the things that it does come with. It does have a carrying strap, and it is an adjustable carrying strap that, of course, you just click on to the sides here. Let's see. Like that. So it's... Just like this it's adjustable it looks really just like a lunch kit so you can make it longer or shorter however you need okay so that's nice uh, i'm gonna have it off now for this review i don't need it for the review i just wanted you to know what it has and um, it has two zippers here on the side okay unzip zip all right it also has a little carrying handle at the top right there that's a little that's convenient because I don't think I want to carry this like as a strap on my shoulder okay. uh, when you open it up it is lined with this aluminum food grade foil so that's nice and then here at the bottom you have the heating tray right here the heating tray device and then this is the heating controller right here and of course we'll see how this works once I get started so yeah Let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in right now. Um, there is a little pocket right here where it advises that you put the, let me see if I can show you. There is a pocket right here. You open it up from the inside. See my hands there? All right, and so it is advised to put the heating controller through this pocket once you get ready to use the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that now so that it's ready to go. And yeah, I'm going to, I'm gonna do a couple of things in here so we can see just how well it works. Um, the first one, the first one I'm going to do, I'm just going to reheat something, okay? So I'm using, it says that you can use glass trays, you can use uh, aluminum or metal trays. It says that you can use any of those on this device. And you guys know I love my Dollar Tree trays. I use these faithfully in my air fryer. So we're gonna try it with one of these and let's see how well it works. I'm a little tearful to be honest with you, uh, but it says you can. So I'm going to, we're gonna first try heating up some of these panko shrimp. I am not hungry at all, guys, but for the sake of review, I'm going to just put a few of these in here, and maybe my husband will want them. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to put just a few of those in. What is that? Five. I have five of these shrimp in here, okay? All right, so um, since I am just reheating, uh, let me see what temperature I need to put this on, and then we'll go ahead pop it in here and get started with our first 
dish in our portable mini oven. Okay, everybody, so we've got our frozen shrimp here, and it says that all you do is simply place your food on the heating tray, and then you close it up, and you zip it up. Ooh, this is scary, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, okay? I'm gonna make sure, my, let me get my fire extinguisher. All right, got my fire extinguisher here, you guys. All right, I'm gonna be ready. I need to learn how to use it. <laughs> all right, so this has six different heating levels, all right? So once you have got your food in there, you close it up and you zip it up, and then it says, go ahead, plug it up and then set your heating time. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Let me unfold this. Got this nice and tight. All right, and then it's still got this paper on this plastic on here. Let's get this plastic off. There we go. That over to the side. Got the instructions here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up. All right. Got it plugged up. As to turn it on, do a long press on the M. Okay, and it's on, can you guys see? All right, it's on, all right. And according to the instructions, when you press the M again and the timer flashes, this right here means that you are able to adjust the auto time off. So I'm gonna put mine at uh, wait, let me let it flash again. I'm going to adjust mine, take it down low to 30 minutes. I'm gonna press the M again. And now that is flashing the little heating coils. And so now, uh -oh, that's flashing. So now I'm going to adjust it to six because I only needed to go, I needed to heat up really quickly for, you know, about 30 minutes. I wonder if it can go lower than 30 minutes. Let's see. No, it, the lowest time it can go is uh, 30 minutes. All right. So I've got it going now. All right. Now I'm just going to leave it and let's see what happens. Okay. Let's see what happens here. It's going. It's gone. I've got it set. It's counting down. Look at that. It was on 30 already. It's counted down. It's at 29. Okay. All right. So now we wait. All right, guys, I wanna check in. It, let's see, we are 22 minutes in. Can y'all see? Let me dim my light a little bit. No. Okay, so we are 22 minutes in and it's really warm. I wanna open it up and look inside. I'm gonna open it up. Let's see what's going on inside here. All right, it's all heated and everything. Okay, it's it's hot. Okay, it's not as hot as I thought it would be. I thought you were gonna open it up and smoke and yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna let it continue. Let it let it do what it do. I probably just disturb the process. But anyway, all right. So we'll check back when this is done. Okay, guys, the oven is now off. So it's been cooking now for an hour. Okay. And this is some shrimp that's already cooked. <laughs> it's been cooking for an hour. Let's see if it's crunchy. Uh, it's not crunchy. Let's see. This one is maybe a little bit. This one's a little crunchy. Let's see. It's hot. It's definitely hot. Okay, let's see. Let's see how it tastes. I usually like for it to get that nice crisp on it. Um, but it's done all the way through and it is still delicious. Okay. It didn't get crispy like I would like for it to, but this little mini oven did heat it all the way through. Um, I would want it to get crispy, especially after being in here for an hour or so. You want it to be crispy. Now let's move on to something raw. This took an hour. Okay, mm. I don't know how we're gonna do with something raw, guys, but I'm gonna put some ground beef in here and then we'll check it out. Okay, everyone, so next up, I'm gonna do something just really simple, okay? I'm just going to take one of the ground beef patties here, okay? It's been sitting out for a while, so it has thawed a little bit. 
And I'm gonna season it, of course, with the best seasoning around, Sincerely Legenia Keto All-Purpose Seasoning, okay? So I've got Keto All-Purpose Seasoning here that I'm just gonna work in really well. And uh, I'm gonna season both sides, okay? Both sides season there. You know I like to season liberally. All right, it's seasoned, all right? So now I'm gonna put this in here. We're gonna do this process again. I've got it in here on a tin pan, tin. All right, I'm gonna close it up and I'm going to zip it all the way up. All right, I am now going to put it, turn it on. Okay, it's on. I am going to set the time. Uh, it's at 180. I'm gonna put it at three and I've got a lot of things to do. So ooh, I don't even know if this video will get out to you guys today. <laughs> But we shall see, all right? So we're gonna let that go for 120 minutes. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, guys. Let's see. Hey guys, so I came to check on this. And uh, as I was moving it, look at that steam that's coming out of there. See that steam, look. And it smells, you can smell it. I mean, wow. Okay, now I think it's, I think this is really doing some work. And we are, okay, it is 84 minutes left. Ooh, now this is what I'm talking about. Let me make sure you guys can see that good. You said 84 minutes, did you say that right? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Y'all, this is really cooking. Look at that. Okay, now I am amazed by this thing. So apparently when I put it on the highest temperature and it's supposed to cook the fastest, that didn't give me the result I wanted. But the slower cooking time is actually giving me the result faster. Uh, this is strange to me, but this is what I was hoping this little thing was gonna do. This is pretty amazing. So what I'm gonna do now is turn the meat over and let the other side cook, because this looks like it's almost done. All right, so you see this, like guys, this is bubbling. It is really cooking this meat. And I'm not gonna lie, after I did the shrimp, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a flop. I'm gonna have to do a horrible review. But after doing this raw meat, I am so thoroughly impressed. So it seems like the slower cooking time actually gives me the best result. So it's all about planning your meals ahead, just like you do your meals at home. But I'm gonna let this finish cooking and then I'm gonna cut into it and let you guys know, but it is smelling good. And you know, this is not like hot. I can still touch the bag and everything. Absolutely amazing, amazing. But okay, let me close it up, let this finish cooking and I'll be back. This is smelling divine, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and open this on up, okay? Because it's smelling good. It says 64 minutes left. I think this is already done. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, I, I'm just in shock right now. I did not expect this thing to work this well. Let me show you guys. All right, so I really, I literally thought this was going to be a flop. I did. But this little thing works. It really works. Let me see if this is too hot to... No, it's not. What? How is this possible? How is this so? All right, so um, look at that little patty. It looks a little sad right now. <laughs> it looks a little sad. I think I let it... I think I overcooked it, y'all. I think I overcooked it. So the amount of time I had on there was absolutely too long. Let's cut into it and see what it looks like. All right, so let's cut into it. Number one, my foil pan is easy to handle. So let's just go on and cut into it. Look at that, y'all. Look, it is done like all the way through. This little thing worked. Now, mind you, I put it in here and it did take about 45 minutes for the burger patty, but that's great, okay? That's great. It took about 45 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and taste, taste it. All right, guys, so of course, when I say I'm gonna taste food, guess who shows up? Hey. <laughs> Angelina. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and taste this. It's already seasoned with Sincerely Legenia seasons, seasoning, so we know it's fantabulous. Y'all, we just put in a little portable mini oven. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Tastes like hamburger meat? Mm-hmm. Cooked all the way through? Yep. Seasoned to perfection? Mm-hmm. There you have it. Mm. Help a Laura. All right, guys, so all done, and I'm getting ready now to clean this up. So a couple of things that I've noticed, of course, when it cooks, there is some, there is condensation, it's wet. There's quite a bit of condensation on the bag, which of course, that's what happens. That's the science of it all. There's condensation through all throughout the bag. So it's just water and I'm almost positive that there's the fragrance that goes along with that. So as far as the instructions, it says to wipe clean with a damp cloth. So that is what I'm going to do. As far as the heating plate, it says to clean it with a mild soap. Do not submerge it in any water, of course, because it has this electrical cord uh, <coughs> attached to it. So, so it does say, well, I wonder if it can come undone. I don't know if it can, this plate still hot. Yeah, the electrical outlet is, is it's attached. So, um, but it says to wipe it clean and use a really mild soap. So really mild cleaner with that. So um, I'm going to go ahead, I think this is cool enough now to be able to handle. I think it's cool enough to be able to handle, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use this just in case, just to be on the safe side. I'm going to pull the heating deal through here. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. This did not get dirty at all, so I, but I am going to still wipe it down and dry it with a wet cloth. I'm gonna let that sit to the side and cool a little bit more, okay? Uh, this right here, it does, it still smells like my burger, of course. So um, what I'm going to do is I got a, I've got a wet towel here. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this down. Uh, nothing got splattered or got on here at all. But I still would like to, of course, wipe it down because I'm sure whatever, you know, that condensation, it's going to smell like whatever you just cooked in here. So <clears throat> I think wiping it down is something you need to do every single time, regardless of the fact that whether it got any food splattered on it or not. I say wipe it down. Okay, so I'm wiping it down with a wet cloth. Yeah, and now I'm going to dry it. And the smell is gone, so that's good. Um, all right, so now let's, all right, our plate is now cooled. It's now cooled, so again, nothing got on the plate at all, but I'm still going to wipe this down. Anyway, I'm gonna use a really mild cleaner and wipe this one on down as well. And for my mild cleaner, of course, I'm using Dawn. If it's mild enough to work on this little guy, it is mild enough to clean this, okay? Dawn goes, you can use Dawn on everything, okay? Dawn is amazing. So I'm gonna use a dot of this and I'm just gonna rub it down. Then I'm going to wipe it down again with just water. And then I'm going to dry it. All right, perfect. And there we go, good as new. It took it about, I would say maybe eight minutes to cool completely, which is amazing because it cooked that meat all the way through guys. It cooked the meat all the way through. So I'm interested in knowing how this is gonna work with like chicken you know like a chicken breast of course i'd probably cut it up really thinly or something like that but this thing is neat so i'm going to place it back in here along with the cord i'm going to let it sit out to just completely air dry so i'm going to leave it open a little bit 
And yeah, guys, that's it. I am so impressed. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I wanna give a shout out to Sabbath Heat. Guys, I really, really thought that I was going to have to give this a bad review once I did the shrimp. So I know now it's simply just a matter of me adjusting the cooking time. That's all I need to do, adjust the cooking time and the temperature. But I am amazed at how well it cooked this ground beef. So I would highly recommend this portable oven. And I just want you all to know that I get a lot of companies that ask me to review products and I do not accept them all. Um, but I accept the ones that intrigue me and the ones that I feel will be best for this channel and for you all, my friends and subscribers. So this is definitely one that I think you all would enjoy. Um, it is great for when you are on the go. It is great for, again, when you have those long work shifts or even when you don't and you just wanna take your own food. You can pre-make your food at home in like a little bitty container, cover it up and then just put it in your little portable mini oven, maybe an hour or so before lunchtime and it is ready. I mean, I can see you putting in some raw chicken, a few vegetables, a nice sauce, putting it in here, letting it cook and you've got a hot, fresh meal. I am uh, truly amazed at this product. So shout out to Sabbath Heat. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to try this product and you know for blessing me with this wonderful, wonderful portable mini oven. Guys, there will be information in the description box below if you are interested in getting you one of these. This would be a perfect gift for the holidays. And yes, I, your friend, sincerely, Legenia, I highly recommend this product. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for another Vlogmas day here at Sincerely Legenia. It is always a pleasure and I am always so happy and thrilled to bring you guys wonderful new products that come out on the market. And so this one is one, I, I give it two thumbs up. I hope you guys get it. If you do, make sure you leave a comment below and let me know if you got one and then let me know how you like it. Thanks for joining me for another video. It is my prayer that you and your family have a blessed and a prosperous day. And I'm gonna talk to you all in tomorrow's vlog right here on Sincerely, Legenia. Talk to you next time, guys. Bye.